Mohammed, you have a piece out just today on Bloomberg View talking about where we are and really warning that we may be becoming complacent, that there's sort of slow and steady growth that we confuse with stability. And in fact, what's going on in Washington with the budget, with health care, that could have real ramifications in terms of fundamental reform. Yeah, the concern, David, is that this period of low and insufficiently inclusive growth has gone on for so long that two behaviors are starting to materialize. One is we're getting used to it, and two is we're becoming fatalistic. We are confusing self-inflicted wounds with real secular issues, demography, technology. If we deal with the self-inflicted wounds, we can get growth back up quickly. Doesn't mean there aren't longer term issues. So, so mine is a warning. Look, first of all, don't ignore it. It is eating away at the economic, financial, institutional, political integrity of the system. And second, don't become fatalistic. We can do something about this. President Trump would say that's exactly what he's trying to do. He is not being fatalistic. He is trying to avoid those self-inflicted roots with his approach to the budget, with his approach to health care. Does that make sense? So, so I think the U.S. is falling into the trap of getting the sequencing wrong. First, there was the implementation sequence. If you're an economist, you wouldn't have started with health care first. You would have started with the pro-growth measures. Now we're having the design problem that instead of starting with the overall vision of how are we going to promote economic growth and then using the budget as the tool, one of the many tools, we've put the budget front and center. So this budget will go nowhere at all. And we are going to lose an additional few months in, in, in designing and starting to implement a growth strategy. So I'm, I'm getting more worried. Mohammed, we were expecting an isolationist president. It's not what we're getting. What we're getting, as David points out, is um, the president of foreign policy at the moment. Abroad, he is going to resonate that message about fighting terrorism. Is the focus now on foreign policy and not on the economics in the way we thought it was going to be? So I, I think you're seeing two things that we've seen over and over again. You saw it with Nixon, you saw it with Carter. When things go bad at home, yeah. foreign policy becomes really attractive. <laughs> so, so that's the first thing we're seeing. And we've seen it over and over again, not just in the U.S., all over the world. The second thing is on trade. When you come in and you want to change the world, the world changes you because there are existing trade arrangements. It is not easy to dismantle trade arrangements. And I think what the Trump administration has realized is that it has to go very slow in terms of trade re renegotiations. If they could get the sequencing right, if they could get back to what they're looking at in terms of tax reform, would that lead to real pro-growth results that you think are essential? So tax reform would be one element. And it's really important to differentiate the tax reform side from the tax rates. Mm -hmm. You can get a lot of agreement on tax reform. Most people agree that we have a tax system that's anti-productivity, anti-investment, anti-growth. We can fix that. The rate issue is much more De de divisive, but you can get the reform issue. But you need to couple that with the infrastructure spending, and you need to take seriously the retooling of the labor force. This is a big issue. So yes, budgetary reform is one element. It's necessary, but it's not sufficient. It has to be part of a package. That's why you have to start from the top and work down. And infrastructure seems to have been put somewhat on a back burner. We don't hear about it as much. We hear nothing, nothing about retooling the workforce. At least I haven't. Yes, and I think that's a tragedy. I think that between what's happening in technology, in, tem in, in demography, that you have to move quickly on that. And that, it goes back to the issue of China does this really well. China starts with a vision, says, I don't know every single step of the way, but I know where I want to end up. I know the first few steps, and I'm going to learn and adjust really quickly. Mike Spence has done a lot of work on this, and, and it shows you this adaptation is, is really important. But you've got to have a North Star and you've got to tell people what that North Star is.